Hi guys, Adriana Persichetti, Head of Sales at My Real Estate. I'm here to answer some of the most common questions that I get from vendors that are thinking of selling at auction. First question, of course, is why auction over all the other methods of sale? So there are a multitude of methods of sale, um, things like private sale or private treaty, um, sale by fixed date, which is effectively like a silent auction with an end date, and expression of interest, which is almost like a silent auction where you express at what level your interest, uh, and of course you've got auction. My preference um, is always an auction, and I'm a little bit biased because I am an auctioneer, but I do genuinely feel that the auction method is the best method to get our vendors the best possible price. It is generally, with auctions, an unconditional contract to sell. What that means is when they bid on the day, it's a done deal, they pay the 10% deposit, you as the vendor settle uh, your settlement terms and basically they move forward. If they don't, um, as a buyer, they will uh, lose their deposit. What should I set my reserve at as a vendor? So there's a combination of factors that you need to work out when setting your reserve. The first, of course, starts with the initial conversation uh, when you have your agent out uh, to determine comparatively against other properties that have sold in the area, what sort of price bracket should you be expecting? This is where having a uh, listing agent as your auctioneer gives you really, really crucial information. So I basically ask all my buyers a series of questions to determine where they're at. And that information is then relayed to the owner on a weekly basis. So come uh, the strategy night before auction, I'll be able to speak to them and they will know uh, bidders and buyers by name. And that ultimately will enable us to determine a fair um, and reasonable reserve to hopefully overachieve under competition as opposed to not getting to reserve or setting an unreal ex expectation, passing the property in and struggling to sell. And thirdly, and most importantly, is costs. So what is it costing you to sell the property? Through staging, any works, um, marketing, and of course, uh, professional fee or commission, uh, to be able to factor that in as well, so that it enables you to cover off on all your expenses uh, so that you can then move on to the next phase, whether it's uh, upgrading, downgrading, or that you've got enough money to make that next step a viable one for you. What happens if you don't meet your reserve on the day? Uh, well, the first thing is the agents will try and negotiate with anyone that's left in the crowd, whether they're uh, a registered bidder or someone that is interested in trying to negotiate the deal. And that generally happens uh, on the street or generally you bring the buyers in and negotiate behind closed doors. After that, so for three days, up until close of business the Wednesday, it is still under auction conditions, so most agents will uh, pencil in an, an open for inspection on Monday or Tuesday night, where they will invite all buyers that have inspected the property to come through and have another look and try and uh, negotiate a deal before Wednesday, because technically speaking, up to close of business Wednesday, it's still an unconditional contract of sale. If it doesn't happen by that stage, then it automatically reverts to a private sale where the agent will put a price up, your reserve price um, online and try and again invite um, and re-advertise the property to try and find a buyer and hopefully get you to that reserve price or a price that you're happy to sell at.